He is known for his upbringing in West Sussex and his education at Oxford and the Inner Temple in London. He is recognized for his skills as a violin player and his extensive knowledge in parliamentary records and antiquities. His name is John Selden. John Selden, a renowned philosopher and legal scholar, was born in the picturesque village of Solvington, West Sussex. His humble beginnings on a small farm did not deter him from pursuing knowledge and excellence. Growing up, Selden displayed a remarkable talent for playing the violin, which captivated the heart of his wife Margaret, who came from a more privileged background. Selden's thirst for knowledge led him to the prestigious Prebendal School in Chichester, where he received a comprehensive education. In 1600, he embarked on a new chapter of his academic journey at Hart Hall, Oxford. It was during this time that Selden's intellectual prowess began to shine, catching the attention of Sir Robert Bruce Cotton, a prominent antiquary. Under Cotton's patronage, Selden was entrusted with the task of meticulously copying and summarizing parliamentary records stored at the Tower of London. This experience further ignited Selden's passion for legal studies, prompting him to join Clifford's Inn in London in 1603 and later the Inner Temple in 1604. Though he rarely practiced law in court, Selden's expertise as a conveyancer and consulting counsel in barrister's chambers earned him a thriving and prosperous career. Throughout his life, John Selden stood as a testament to the power of knowledge and dedication. His story serves as an inspiration for future generations, highlighting the importance of pursuing intellectual pursuits and embracing opportunities for growth and learning. John Selden, a renowned legal scholar of the 17th century, found himself embroiled in a political controversy after the publication of his work on the historical basis of the tithe system. In 1618, his book titled History of Tithes caused unease among the bishops and caught the attention of King James I. Despite passing censorship and licensing, Selden was summoned before the Privy Council and compelled to retract his opinions. His work was suppressed, and he was forbidden from responding to any criticisms. This incident marked a turning point in Selden's life, as he entered the realm of politics. Although he did not hold a seat in the Parliament of England, he played a significant role in drafting the Protestation of 1621, which affirmed the rights and privileges of the House of Commons. This document, which he may have been the draftsman of, was a bold statement against the authority of the king. However, his involvement in this protest led to his imprisonment, first in the Tower and later under the charge of Sir Robert Ducey, the Sheriff of London. During his time in confinement, Selden's intellectual pursuits did not wane. He utilized his time by preparing an edition of the medieval historian Edmer's history. Selden had been lent a manuscript of this work by his host or jailer, and he diligently worked on its publication. Two years later, he successfully released his edition of Edmer's history, showcasing his commitment to scholarship even in the face of adversity. Selden's journey from a legal scholar to a political figure demonstrates the intersection of intellectual pursuits with the challenges of the real world. His clash with the authorities over his views on tithes and subsequent involvement in political activism highlight the importance of standing up for one's beliefs. Selden's resilience and dedication to his work, evident in his efforts to publish Edmer's history, serve as an inspiration to navigate difficult situations and pursue knowledge despite obstacles. John Selden, a prominent parliamentarian and philosopher, found himself immersed in the tumultuous political landscape of 17th century England. With a keen intellect and a passion for justice, Selden became deeply involved in the affairs of the House of Commons. His unwavering commitment to upholding the law and defending individual liberties earned him a reputation as a formidable advocate. In 1623, Selden was elected to represent the borough of Lancaster in the House of Commons. Alongside esteemed colleagues such as John Coke and William Noy, he played a pivotal role in Sergeant Glanville's election committee. Despite facing opposition from the benchers of the Inner Temple, who fined him and disqualified him from their ranks, Selden persevered and eventually became a master of the bench. Throughout his career, Selden demonstrated unwavering dedication to the principles he believed in. In the Parliament of Charles I, he fearlessly participated in the impeachment of George Villiers, the first Duke of Buckingham. His legal acumen was further showcased in Darnell's case, where he served as counsel for Sir Edmund Hampton. However, his commitment to justice came at a cost. In 1629, Selden, along with other members, was imprisoned in the Tower of London for his vocal opposition to the illegal levy of tonnage and poundage. Despite facing adversity, Selden's resolve remained unshaken. After his release, he retired to rest in Bedfordshire, the seat of Henry Gray, the Earl of Kent. It was during this period that he delved deeper into his philosophical pursuits. Selden's erudition and vast knowledge of history and law made him a sought-after scholar. In 1640, Selden's expertise led him to be elected to the Long Parliament for Oxford University. 
Throughout his tenure, he staunchly defended the Protestant religion, the authority of the crown, and the liberty of the subject. However, Selden's commitment to justice extended beyond blind loyalty. He questioned both King Charles and Parliament, recognizing that both sides were not immune to acting unlawfully. As the years passed, Selden's influence continued to grow. He participated in the discussions of the Westminster Assembly, where his eras Tian views clashed with those of George Gillespie. Selden's tireless dedication to his work led to his appointment as the clerk and keeper of the records in the Tower of London. John Selden's life was a testament to his unwavering pursuit of justice and his deep understanding of the law. His commitment to upholding individual liberties and questioning authority resonates even today. Selden's philosophy reminds us to critically analyze the actions of those in power, to seek justice, and to never shy away from defending what is right. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.